Makar Sankranti is a harvest festival celebrated with the utmost enthusiasm throughout India. In Jaipur, this festival takes the city by storm. During this time, you can hear echoes of laughter coming from every household as they celebrate this very joyous occasion. The most common way to celebrate is through kite flying. During this time, the skies of cities like Jaipur are dotted with colorful kites soaring as fast as the wind. While kite flying is an integral part of our tradition and has been cherished for many years, there exists a dark side to this occasion. These kite-laden skies become death traps for our avian population due to the glass-coated strings used to fly kites. Commonly called manjha, these strings are so sharp that they can cut through flesh. Due to their innocuous nature, numerous birds get entwined in these deadly strings leading to life-threatening injuries. Determined to save our bird population, Wildlife SOS rescue hotlines actively aid birds during this time. This year, in efforts to expand our reach and to aid many more birds, Wildlife SOS collaborated with Eco Rescuers Foundation to set up a 3-day bird treatment camp in the heart of Jaipur. With a helpline unit set up, the team received numerous calls about birds injured by the deadly manjha. During the camp, the team aided over 55 distressed birds. While some concerned citizens dropped off injured birds, others contacted our helpline to rescue birds from the location. So dire was the condition for a few that emergency first aid had to be performed on the birds while on site. The manjha is in fact so lethal that it can cut through the nerve of a bird on its ligaments and even wings. It can also lead to excessive bleeding, often causing death. With a well-equipped operation theater set up in our camp, the birds could receive quality medical care on time. So first, when we receive the birds, we just check the vitals of birds like temperature, respiratory rate, and the heart rate. We received a pigeon who had a manja cut through the bone on its wing. We had to perform immediate. intramedullary pinning to revive the bird and make sure it could fly again with the team working around the clock numerous birds were healed and later released to fly again carefree as we watch these birds so high above the clear blue sky we are overwhelmed with appreciation for the beautiful gifts that nature has bestowed upon us this makar sankranti we thank you all for your support that has allowed us to aid the avian population of india